Agent evaluation is one of those topics that people usually don't pay attention to it enough. But this is a crucial step in agent development to reach to an acceptable certainty in your agent response. That's why today I'm going to talk about two main approach for agent evaluation. Just before we start, if you're new here, my name is Homayun and I opened this channel to talk to you about recent technology and show you how to implement them efficiently. Your like and subscribe give me motivation to make more content like this for you guys. In order to evaluate the agent response, there are two main ways. End-to-end -end evaluation and a structured evaluation. End-to-end -end evaluation is for the time that you want to be sure that the final response generating by your agent is exactly following what you defined in system prompt for your agent. For example, your response should be marked out or your response should always include the references. And these are the things that if you don't test and you won't be sure that your system prompt is defined correctly and everything is mentioned there, your agent at the end would have a level of uncertainty that makes it not useful in production. The next approach is a structured evaluation. This is those steps that agents are taking internally to generate the final response, such as tool calls or routings, and if agent does not take those steps correctly, the final response would have a high level of hallucination. In order to do the end-to-end -end evaluation, we use another LLM as a judge. We define the criteria that we expect to see in the final response, and we pass the exact response that our agent is generating, and we ask our judge to compare those responses together. However, a structured evaluation is pretty simple and straightforward. We just do a string match. Here we have a list of all the tools that should be called or all the routes that agent needs to take. And then we do a string match and see if the route that agent took is in the list that we expect that agent take it or not. Now that you know that how to evaluate your agent, let's build a simple project. The goal of this project is to build a research agent that using Tavoli as a tool call and also return the final response with the category of the research topic that user asked for it. We're going to test the final response generated by the agent using another LLM as a judge and testing the category generated by the agent using a structured evaluation method. I already set up the config file that is taking the OpenAI API key and Tavli API key. Just the next step is to define the agent folder. Inside the agent folder, we have our main agent file, which is the researcher agent. We have an output parser to parse the response in the way that you expect. And we have tools. The last one is prompt. The first step is to define the tool, which is the Tavli, and I'm using the API and the function to pass the question to the Tavli to search and return the response as a tool response. The second part is the system prompt that we are explaining what is the role of the agent, what tools are available, and how should be the process to generate the final response. And here we have output parser that we explain that there are two things agents should generate. The category that is one of the categories we define here. It's either technology, finance, or politic. This is the research result that we want to be maximum 50 words. Lastly, we gather all together. And here is the React agent passing the tools prompt and the response format. Now we are going to define our evaluation. This evaluation has a judge and a normal structured test. And inside the judge, we have our judge agent and the system prompt that we want to have for the judge to define 
how it works and what is the role. And this is our judge system prompt that define what is the role, what would be the input, and what would be the responsibility of our judge. Then we need to define the function. So here, what's happening here is that the judge has an output parser, which is the grade and justification. Also, there are, there's a function here that accepts three inputs. The main input, which is what is the question, the criteria, if a response is valid or not, and the agent that we want to evaluate. Here we are defining the judge LLM and we are running the research agent with retrieving the final response and we passing the final response to the judge LLM and returning the final response of the judge. Next thing is defining our structure test. Here we have another function that we are running our agent, retrieving the category from the output parser that agent is defining that category internally and then checking if that category is in the list that we expect it to be or not. Then we return a dictionary of everything that we found. Just one last thing is remained and that is having a test set. Since this is a small project, I just have one sample. But be sure that in your project, you include all the situations that you think that your agent might fail. And in this way, you can test all those situations. Now let's test and run our evaluation. We add the imports. We run our test set. And first, we have our judge evaluation. And here is the response. You see that the evaluation result was fine because the response includes the latest news about AI agents from September 23, provided resources and references for all the news. And this satisfies all the criteria. Perfect. Now let's test the category. And here is our test result. There is no missing category. The category result is technology as we expected. And that's how you can build an evaluation system for your AI agent. Just as I mentioned before, be sure about your test set that is created perfectly. The more accurate test set you have, the more your evaluation result would be reliable. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that it was useful for you. Don't forget to share it with your friends and subscribe my channel and like this video. These are the things that motivates me to make more content like this for you guys. Take care and see you in the next video.